Now let's move on to discuss the male reproductive system, including the male genitalia and the processes of spermatogenesis. The male reproductive system. This image depicts the system in a sagittal section. In this region are the bladder, the symphysis pubis, and the prostate gland. As the urethra passes through the prostate gland, it's known as the prostatic urethra. Further down in the penis, it becomes the spongy urethra. Organs and glands and components of the male reproductive system include the seminal gland, which produces seminal fluid, and the ductus deferens, which is connected to the testicle, through the epididymis. The penis itself is made up of the corpus cavernosum and the corpus spongiosum, and at the tip, the external urethral orifice. The genitals are those organs or parts of the body involved in the process of reproduction. Some are external and some are internal. The male external genitals are the penis and scrotum, which houses the testicles or testes. The internal male genitalia include two testes, two vas ductus deferens, one prostate gland, two seminal vesicles, two epididymides, and one urethra. The testes. This image depicts the testes in a sagittal cross section. The testes are made up of various lobules which are separated by septa. These are enwrapped or encased in the scrotal cavity. Inside the lobule is the seniferous tubule where spermatogenesis takes place. Sperm is gathered and organized through the mediastinum of the testes and delivered outside of the scrotum through the epididymis. The testes or testicle are oval shaped and approximately 5 by 3 centimeters in size. They're located in the scrotum and descend into the scrotum during development after the seventh month. The temperature of the scrotum is 1.1 degrees C less than body temperature, and this is an ideal environment for the formation of sperm. The outside of the testes is covered by a thick, dense, fibrous layer known as the tunica albuginea. The mediastinum of the testes is the area that collects and transports the sperm produced into the epididymis. The spermatic cords are made up of connective tissue surrounded by layers of fascia, and they extend from the inguinal ring to the testes. The two major cell types of the testicle are the Leydig cells and the Sertoli cells. The testes are made up of coiled tubes called seminiferous tubules. Within the tubules are the Leydig cells. Adjacent to the tubules are the Sertoli cells. The Leydig cells are within the interstitium between the tubules themselves. They produce testosterone and DHEA. Some of the testosterone produced by Leydig cells is bound and sequestered in the adjacent seminiferous tubules by androgen binding protein. The testosterone rich fluid contributes to the proliferation and differentiation of spermatosa. The Sertoli cells of the testes are also known as nurse cells, and that's because they nurture and protect the developing sperm during the processes of spermatogenesis. The Sertoli cells contain tight junctions and make up the blood testes barrier. These cells are attached to the tubule capsule and extend into the lumen of the tubule. The Sertoli cells secrete the hormone inhibit and this blocks the actions of follicle stimulating hormone or FSH and testosterone. Along with the scrotum, the penis makes up the major external genitalia of the male. It's divided into three regions, the root, the shaft, and the glands. The root is fixed to the body, specifically the rami of the ischia. The shaft is a tubular mass of erectile tissue and the glands is the expanded edge of the penis that encompasses the external urethral orifice. The tip of the penis is covered in a prepuce or foreskin, and this is removed during circumcision. The erectile tissue of the penis 
is made up of vascular channels that are loosely separated by elastic connective tissue. Parasympathetic stimulation leads to increased blood flow to fill those channels and lead to an erection. Changes in the penis during arousal. During sexual arousal in males, there's increased blood flow to the penis and this usually results in an erection. The corpus cavernosa is a pair of tubular structures that run the length of the penis. As venous blood engorges these tubular structures, the penis becomes hard and erect. As sexual stimulation continues, usually an orgasm is achieved. During the orgasm, the male ejaculates semen. Ejaculation is under the control of a spinal reflex from the sacral spinal cord. The rhythmic contractions of the male orgasm are generated by the bulbospongiosis muscle. The gamete produced in the male is the sperm. The sperm or spermatozoan is the male reproductive cell, and in its mature form it lacks typical organelles such as an endoplasmic reticulum or a lysosome. The sperm itself is organized into three structural parts, the head, the neck region, and the tail. The head contains the chromosomes and special enzymes for fertilization in the tip known as the acrosome. The neck region contains microtubules arranged in a spiral formation with mitochondria to power the movement of the sperm. The tail is also known as a flagellum. The tail moves in a corkscrew manner to propel the sperm forward. 